Hello, dear friends. Chris here. I hope everybody's doing great today. Um, I have two items to show you today from Paint Some Way. But before I get to that, first I'd like to say welcome any new viewer. Hello. Thank you for joining me. I hope you like it here. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you do all those YouTube-y things like like, subscribe, share, comment below. It's very much appreciated. And um, to all my True Blues out there, thank you so much for your continued love, support, kindness, and friendship. It means everything to me. Uh, I also would like to say, um, you know, the two items I have for you will be linked below in the description box, as well as my code for Uniquely Yours Down Under, save 10%, um, my Instagram page, my Facebook group um, that I share with my friend Angie. It's a nice little dime painting group. Just um, join us, answer the questions. It's a very nice, relaxed place. And finally, my... Um, new TikTok thing. Uh, I don't have any videos, but if you'd like to join me, um, you never know when I'll put something up, and I certainly would like to follow you. Okay, so with all of that said, let's get to the products. Again, these are from Paint Some Way. They're really nice. They're both 50 by 60s, am I right? Yes, they're 50 by 60 rounds. Um, this is a really great size. Honestly, I really love this size of diamond painting because it's not too small, like 30 by 40s, which unless it's a super simple image, is small. Um, and I do have them and I tend to get the really simpler kind of images um, when they're that size because otherwise they're just not gonna look very good. And quite honestly, even that size, anything is bigger. It looks better, a little bit bigger. Um, and these aren't, so 50 by 60s aren't super big either. So you don't kind of feel overwhelmed. It's a right medium sized sweet spot. Um, so with that said, I have they're both that they're both that size. The first one has twenty two colors. Um, again, it's a round, and this is great for. This is really um, a spring picture, technically, but I think it's great any time of the year. I think the size it does look good for the size. It per honestly, it could look better if it was a little bigger, but. It still, I think, will come out looking great. So, what do I have here? Here is, let's look at the thumbnail. Or no, I keep pulling the thumbnail. The Legends of the Fall over here. So, as you can see, all letters. Very nice. You can see the color palette. A lot of pastels. Here we have our item number, the size, and our thumbnail, which is so small. <laughs> As you can see the background here, might as well do a little tour canvas while we're up close before I show you the whole thing. So this is the top of it. Generally legible, however, um, you know, maybe in the darker areas, a little bit harder to see, like the S's. Again, that there's an S within those blues. Now I can see that, but again, you know, it's light pads are always helpful. Um, and so let's just take a big view of the canvas, why don't we? Here we have it. So obviously, when I was talking about that up close, it's a little bit fuzzier. Now, it still looks fantastic up close in person, but certainly through the camera view here, you could see how great this looks. So we have here a basket of flowers, a gigantic basket of flowers, daisies, um, spring flowers, um, with a big old bow over here, the purple bow, our basket, and what's on the bottom. We have two cute, adorable little bunnies with three Easter eggs, and they're on the grass. This is really, really a great picture, really pretty. Um, yes, it's more of an Easter picture. It is a spring picture. However, honestly, that doesn't, kind of stuff doesn't bother me. This is Listen, flowers and bunnies, yeah, there's an egg there, but come on now. You could hang this out all year. It doesn't matter if you wanted to. So it's very, very pretty. Again, let's take a closer look at the canvas now that I've showed you the whole thing. You can see the glitter through here. I really like when they do that. I think it probably helps a little bit with, you know, the sparkle when it's all done, since the, a little bit of the background does wind up showing through, of course the rounds. So how you can see our little bunny there. Of 
the Easter eggs, all pretty and colored. You have that one. I like that they're matchy. Our other little bunny. You can see a bow in the basket. And our flowers. So, oops. so the background, of course, is color block with the white. A lot of the, the daisies are white. Um, it does a little bit, obviously, mix in here with the background being the same color there. It would have been nice if there was a little bit definition. If the, maybe the background was more of a cream color or even a blue for a very, very light blue for the outside. Since this is outside, I should say. Um, but they do kind of blend in together. It's not a big deal. But especially, again, when you're step a foot or two back. But it would be nice if there was a little more definition there. Um, but those, those whites are really the only color blocking areas. Everywhere else um, is, um, and there's only 22 colors. So again, it's not, cam budget canvas is usually, even though they're confetti with the 22 colors, it's not crazy confetti like you see in other, you know, more premium kits that has like 60, 70 colors. That's confetti. Yes, there's confetti here, but when you are, when you're working with only 20 colors, you know, the confetti goes a lot quicker. Let's just put it that way. That's my long way of trying to say it's manageable confetti for people who, who don't like too much confetti. Uh, but yeah, so basically everywhere else is confetti except the background, which is the little color block areas. I'm just gonna check it here. This glue is very nice and sticky. That's good. And yeah, so I really, really like this. I really think it's adorable. Again. I think this is a great size dime painting. Hits the sweet spot right in the middle. Not too big, not too small, just right. You a lot of the a lot of paintings will look pretty good in this size, and working on them is not overwhelming or it's not too small. So there we have it. So I'll leave that. Oh, I was gonna move on, but I just want to show you the colors real quick. So again, another thing I like to tell you people is. They, this is how this came. Well, ink, a little inconsistent packaging. These came in those tiny little bags. I know people hate these. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. For obviously for waste purposes, you know, I am an environmentalist person, so I don't like it for that reason. But for me, kidding it up, eh, not an issue. I love kidding up, so, and I don't mind having to open a million of these little bags. As a matter of fact, I kind of like it. The only thing I don't like when I'm kidding up is if it has static. That to me torture. Anything else? A million bags? I'm here for it. So it comes in these bags. Now, this has no identification of what these drills are for. That's not good. So I'm going to write on here right now so I don't forget. Flower basket. and bunnies. So again, be aware that sometimes the kit number is not on your bag of drills for some reason. Um, or if it is written with a marker, magic marker, a Sharpie, it could fade off. So please, even if you store them together, I would suggest get a, a sticker and Put it on here whether it's a description or the item number of the canvas just in case they somehow get separated or something gets wiped off or whatever it's better that way so that long story here is the drills we have our pastel again all pastels blues greens yellows pinks in there and then we have our creams and whites on this side and purples as well so there we have that. Um, I think that's all I wanted to tell you about this canvas, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so let's get to the second. Again, same size. And honestly, I didn't even real Can you believe I didn't realize this until this very moment? It's basically the same theme. H how kind of dense can you be sometimes, right? Mm. It's a 50 by 60. Uh, these are 24 colors this time. And um, we have another basket of flowers. I didn't, honestly, I, I was so 
looking at the bunnies on the other one, I didn't connect that. Oh, there's a theme here. Baskets of flowers. These are also spring flowers. So here we have our Legends of Miss Baltimore Crab over here. Again, we have all letters as our symbols, which is good. We have our thumbnail, so that's what we'll be dime painting. Item number and size. And so while we're here, let's take a closer look before expanding at the drill field. As you can see, again, standard clearness. I can just show you right here. Nice stickiness. And let's go for the deep, dark, deep view. Okay. So, again, basket of flowers. Here we have on a porch step, we can see the steps here. We can see the railings over here, the posts. And we have this beautiful basket of pansies. Here's the basket handle, the baskets down here, and these large, beautiful heads on the pansies. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Again, on the stoop. To me, this, you know, again, this could represent anywhere. Really, really pretty. Love it, love it, love it. Let's get a closer look at the drill field. I really like in both of these, you could tell the definition on the basket of the weavings. And again, the flowers, they're just so beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So what do you all think? Okay. So this one's a little different with the packaging. Here we have them individually packaged in the bags. Again, now these are the cool bags that has a diamond printed on it and the number that, not the symbol, but the other number, you know, you know what it is. <laughs> and they, they have it written down in the marker on here. Again, I'm going to do this myself. Um, I have a different way of, this is a temporary storage for me. Um, just so I know what it is right now. When I put this away in my storage area, I will redo the labels and all that, but. Um, yeah. So, put that there. Oops. And in this one, again, it's a little dark color palette. We have some blues and some greenish grays. We have, do have some bright yellow there. We have some cream colors. Uh, flesh tony kind of colors. Um, so the, the colors aren't as bright. Obviously the bright colors in here are the yellows and the whites. Which, I don't know, is that even white? Number one. Nope, that's not number one. It's three, eight, six, six. So... 24. Now I can't tell. I think this might be that white, that color that's probably going to be considered white, um, but it's moving off white. So the our, the yellow right here is really the brightest color in the painting. Everything else is a little bit more darker and muted. However, that's fine. That's going to still make them beautiful. There are still going to be pops of color in certain areas. Um, but yeah, so this is really sorry great. about that. <laughs> Again, our bunnies in the basket. Um, so, thank you so much, Paint Some Way. Um, thank you all viewers for watching. I truly appreciate it. Um, again, they will be linked down below with all the other stuff that um, you'll need to know or would like to know, maybe. Um, I appreciate you watching and joining me today. And until next time, please, everybody, be safe, be happy, and stay safe, stay happy. Thanks, guys. Bye.